If you're looking for a video that tells you not to sell online, well, this is not the video for you. Yes, in this video, we're going to be discussing the three main reasons why people fail. And yes, the rate of failure is extremely high online, but there are a lot of reasons. And we're going to be discussing those reasons and those pitfalls so that you can avoid them, not be fearful of them, just so that you can avoid them, whether you are currently selling online or you plan to sell online, whether on your own website or on Amazon. Are you ready? Let's get to work. Now, before we get started and start talking about strategy and what you can do in order to avoid failing, why is there such a high failure rate on Amazon and in e-commerce in general? Is it because it's not a real business? Well, of course not. Of course it's a real business. It's a viable business that you can really uh, thrive in, but it's a very easy business to get into. You can actually create an online store and start selling products within a few hours if you don't really need to order the products. If you need to bulk order the products, then it'll be just a few months. There's no other business that you can get started that quickly without even needing to buy a store, without even needing to decorate. You don't even need a warehouse. You don't need a team. You don't need staff. That's why it's such an easy business to get into. Lots of people jump into it, and that's why the failure rate is so high. So you should be excited that it's such an easy business for you to get started. And if you are already selling on Amazon, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So let's talk about the three reasons. There are a lot of reasons, but let's talk about the three main reasons why people might fail when selling online, whether that, that's on Amazon or on your own website. But before we talk about reason number one, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, hi, my name is Crystal and I'm the founder of Amazon Sellers Society and Sellers Society. Obviously, we are very, very obsessed with selling and selling online, definitely on Amazon as well as all e-commerce sales in the Middle East. So if you want information about this and this is something that's interesting for you, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Check out our websites right here and make sure that you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you want, leave me a comment, ask any question and I will answer it uh, in the comment section below. Let's talk about strategy number one or rather reason number one. We'll talk about strategy uh, later on, but reason number one, why people fail so much on Amazon and e-commerce is they start off with a very big investment. Now, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos and you watch a lot of tutorials, you might think that anything that applies to a marketplace in the US or anything that applies anywhere else applies wherever you're selling. What I mean by that is, yes, of course, you might do research, you might do all of the theoretical work on Earth, but if you don't test out the product, how are you going to know if the product is going to be successful? The worst thing that you can do is to launch and order huge quantities of products and not be able to sell them. You will sell them because everything sells on Amazon if correctly placed, but you might not sell them as quickly as you want to sell them. And then all of your money is stuck in your inventory. So what you want to do is you want to minimize the risk by not ordering too much, but not ordering too little at the same time. There is a minimum amount of quantity that you need to order. You definitely can't do this business without having a physical product, especially if you want to sell on Amazon through the FBA private label model or on your own website and not through drop shipping. So if you want to sell a product, you will need to buy inventory. However, don't go for the huge amounts of inventory if, number one, this is your first time selling anything online. Number two, this is your first time selling this particular product online. If you don't know how the market is going to react to it, and as you know, the market shifts very quickly. If you don't know how the market is going to react to it, you don't know what type of reviews people are going to leave, it's best to test the product out and not do a very, very, very big investment from the very get-go. Do what is known as a micro-launch. And I'm not saying do a micro-launch because you should be scared and you should be worried that this product is going to uh, fail. Take it as the idea of how tests are created when we're in school. In school, you don't have one test at the end of the year. There are a lot of multiple tests depending on where you studied and which curriculum, but there are a lot of multiple tests throughout the year, at least every quarter. So that makes it much easier so that not everything is reliant on that final exam. 
So think about it that way. Think about launching the product in stages and just validating throughout the stages so that that product is very important. One thing that I want you to note is when using, when deciding on a brand name or deciding on something to sell under which brand you want to create, and this is going to make sense when I talk about strategy number two or reason number two, make sure that you choose something that is very general. Don't choose a specific brand name that only works on a specific type of product, like only kitchen products, because, well, you'll see why. So reason number two why people tend to fail is it takes them a very long time to decide and then they just just decide anything by decide decide on a product to sell so yes it's very important what product to sell because at the end of the day this is a business where you're selling products you're not selling a service you're selling a product so the product needs to make sense uh, the product needs to be something people want the, the product needs to be a successful product however the problem is a lot of people are not able to choose a product, so it takes them a long time to choose a product. And by the time they choose the product, what ends up happening is the product is no longer in demand. By the time it arrives to Amazon and they, and they, they, uh, they start selling it, it's just no longer as much in demand or there are other lots of other competitors. So you need to be fast in this type of business and you need to make decisions very quickly. But to make it much easier, that's why I said choose a brand name that is general. Because if you start selling something like kitchen accessories, it doesn't mean that you should stay selling kitchen accessories for the rest of your life. It's not something you're not building a physical store and then you have to tear down all the store. No, it's a product, you sell it. If it doesn't give you the results that you want based on what you are looking for out of this business, you simply pivot and you sell in a different category or a different niche. So don't feel like the product that you start selling on Amazon, the very first product has to be your 100% best product ever sold in the existence of Amazon, no. It should be successful, of course. We strive for everything that we do to be successful, but at the end of the day, if it's not as successful as you want it to be, you can simply change and sell something else. And reason number three, and that's primarily maybe the most, the biggest reason out of them all, why people fail when they sell on Amazon and online is no strategy. So if you go into this business just thinking, yep, I'm gonna sell anything to anyone, it's you're, you're going to eventually fail. You need to have strategy. Just like everything in life, you need to set goals for yourself. The main strategies that you need to think about are what exactly do you want from this business and why are you selling? Why are you spending your time on Amazon selling products or on your own e-commerce website selling products? So you need to ask your, your three main questions, I believe. You need to ask yourself these three main questions. Question number one, who is your target customer? Who is that person? Have a, um, an avatar of that person. What, what age are they? What gender are they? What do they kind of look like? What do they do in their spare time? You need to visualize who your customer is. And number two, why would that, with the product that you are suggesting to sell, why would that product help this person? I know you always hear about, oh, the product needs to solve a problem doesn't have to solve a major problem. It could be just a fun product. But if you have decided on a particular person of a particular age, then that product has to make sense for that person. You can't be selling a product for um, a 60 year old male, whereas in your mind, your customer is a 20 year old female. It just doesn't make sense. So it has to all be aligned. Who is your customer? And why is this product going to help them? What is it going to do for them as their customer? Does it fit into who your customer is? And finally, what is your end goal with this product? Why are you selling this product? Are you selling it because you just want to make money? Of course, everybody wants to make money or else why are you, why are you doing this business? But is there anything long term behind it? Do you want to sell additional products with this in this category or in this brand? Do you want to create a brand around this particular product? Or is it just a one time product and you just want to make money and just forget about this product? So all of these three main questions can help you create a strategy, a long-term strategy of why you intend to sell that particular product, 
who you're selling it to and what your long-term vision for that particular product is. It's not wrong not to have a long-term vision. If you just want to sell the product in order to make money, then that's fine. But knowing that can help you make vital decisions such as how much money you want to spend on advertising, how much margins you need for your business, all of those stuff, all of those, all of those um, decisions are very important whether you want to sell the product long term and create a brand for years to come or if you just want to sell it right now and get your money back. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn exactly how much money you're making on Amazon, if you should be spending more money on ads, it should be, if you should be reducing the amount of money that you are spending on ads, lots of valuable data, then you should check out our software, Seller Society, sellerssociety.io. If you subscribe, we've got a special offer where you can get exclusive reward content such as learning how to create a downloadable free ebook that you can give out with any product. It'll cost you, I'll show you how it'll cost you almost nothing to create this downloadable free ebook and it'll be such a great thing, such an added value to your products. Also exclusive content from so many uh, mentors and so many people as well as a lot of other rewards. You'll find all of the information on our website sellerssociety.io. Seller Society was created for sellers that are selling on Amazon as well as Shopify. However, people who have been selling for not more than 12 to 24 months. So on when you're starting your journey, this is where when you need support and we want to help you grow your business and become super successful. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.